Jamie. I live in Saudi Arabia and I have a makeup collection that just keeps getting bigger, so let's talk about it. Today, I wanted to shoot just a quick little video discussing Beauty Bay. So my reasoning for discussing Beauty Bay is because I gotta admit, today I bought a 16 pan Beauty Bay palette in the blue and purple. Like I said, I wasn't going to, but joke's on me. Beauty Bay is having an absolutely kick-ass White Friday sale. Go check it out if you haven't already. Very often they do some amazing bundles where they will group together a collection of their own palettes for a very, very discounted price. And I wanted to go through the ones that I have personally and discuss them and rank them. So if this video interests you, please feel free to stick around. Also, please always feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. So there are two palettes that I'm not actually going to include in the ranking, but I did still want to touch on them. And I have all five of the Disney collaboration little six pan palettes, but these are two palettes that I have not actually used yet. So it wouldn't be fair for me to kind of include them in the ranking. So the first one is the Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter six pan palette. I have not used this yet. Nope. And each of the uh, Disney collaboration mini palettes has this little like Mickey head thing. What is that called? I don't remember. So there's that one. Pretty color story. I like it. I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. This one, um, I can, I can see myself reaching for it if I needed some of these colors, but I'm having a hard time actually like thinking of a cohesive look to put together using each of these colors. And that was something I wanted to do as well, is eventually what I want to do is I want to do a look per Disney palette. I'm sure everyone has done it by now, but I wanna do it also. So those are the two I'm not including in the ranking. So now let's get into the actual ranking. So in last place, easily for me, is again, this Disney collaboration palette from Bambi. This is just not a color story I respond to personally. It's a little bit dusty and I've worn it. It was fine. It performed fine. It's just not a color story I really respond to or excites me. What is cute about these palettes is that they have sampled colors from the actual movies themselves and then included them in the palettes. So that's like nice, but is it my favorite thing? No. No, no, no. So next up is the palette I actually have on today. It is no longer available, although there is a smaller palette from this collection that uh, came out last year, and it's the Age of Opulence palette. So this is a beautiful color story, I will admit. However, each and every single time I use it, it lifts in my outer corner each and every time. My eyes water every single time I use this palette. So I don't know, that's unusual for me. I'm not sure why, but in any case, I don't know. It could be the purples, I don't know. Uh, while this is a beautiful color story and I feel like it should all work together, somehow like it doesn't. <laughs> um, I actually had to film a look twice today using this palette because my first look just turned out like butts. It was bad. It was really bad. And all of these shades are very like deep to mid-tone, which works in a setting, but it wasn't exactly what I was going for. So for that reason, and because of kind of some dud shades that I have trouble working with, I rank this pretty low. I should also mention that I have 14 Beauty Bay palettes to rank. So here we have number 14. And this is for me, number 13. Okay, so palette number 12. Actually kind of pains me to say a little bit because I do really like this palette and I have used it quite a bit in the last year, but there are a couple of shades in it that are difficult to work with. And for that reason, I rank the Nikki Tutorials collaboration with Beauty Bay in 12th because this shade, this shade, this shade, they're not great. They're not great, man. Um, the shimmers are really, really beautiful. I can't get over the shimmers a lot of the time. This right now is on crazy sale. If you, if you want, if you want, if you want to try it, 
I think for me, it's like 25 real right now. I'm not even sure what that is in British pounds or dollars, but suffice to say, 40 real is like 10 bucks. So this right now is on extreme sale. It is highly affordable. Just know that these two shades are not great. Um, Ew and Amsterdam, not good shades to work with necessarily. They will perform. I've dug into them quite a bit, but just buy this with the expectation that you're getting it mainly for the shimmers and then you're gonna have to reach into other palettes to make the mattes work. In, what is that, 11th place right now. I will say, I think that this could change. I have the Dark Fantasy palette ranked uh, in 11th just simply because for me, I haven't found a good way to use it quite yet. I think the color story is really pretty, really interesting. And I'm worried though, that it is gonna kind of run into the same problem that I have with uh, the Age of Opulence palette in the sense that there are a lot of mid-tones in here, mid to dark tones. So there's no way to kind of bring out more light aspects of the palette. There's really only one, Kind of or two lighter green shades to kind of blend things out with which is sort of limiting um all this side of the palette is pretty deep and i mean like that's in keeping with the theme dark fantasy but i think that i have this ranked a bit low just because i haven't used it yet or i haven't found the occasion to use it so it hasn't been able to stretch its legs so much for me i did use it one time and i wasn't altogether happy with the look i've just i've I've used it twice now and both times the looks have come out sort of clunky. I think I even had like a third attempt at it and I had to wipe the whole thing off. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but for that reason, I'm putting it in 11. Number 10, I hate this packaging so much, but New Mood. So New Mood actually has these really beautiful blues. Um, I haven't used this palette a whole lot yet either. It does also have kind of a duochrome shade in the middle here, which is really fun to work with. And I think that's a nice inclusion in the Beauty Bay family. Um, it's a good palette. The quality is great. The quality is there. I just haven't had as much occasion to use it and I'm happy to have it. I'm gonna continue to use it and have a nice time. Number nine, I got this in a set and it was so cheap, it was great. I got the Utopia and the Pastels in a set and it was only maybe like 60 real or something. Just dead affordable. So this is a good companion palette to use in addition to your other palettes if you want to blend something out or add a bit of vibrancy to a look. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot, but the quality's there. I'm not mad about it. So that was number nine. This is number eight. This is the Jungle Book. So I like this because it is kind of dusty in a way it's a bit of a different color story similar similar to the other ones it's sampling colors from the motion picture itself and then putting them into a six pan i think it's fun i think it's a fun nice idea i like the colors i think the color story works together i like that this color is the deepest one and you can use these others to blend each other out it's it's nice it's nice to work with seven seven number seven has to be this Cheshire Cat uh, mini palette from the Alice in Wonderland slash Dis Disney collaboration with Beauty Bay. This is a fun little palette. It's fun. So this yellow mixed in a little bit with this blue has a very vibrant, vibrant pop that is super fun to work with. I can't remember the YouTuber, but she did a really fun look with it that I copied and it was so cool. It was so lit. I really enjoyed it. Again, the quality is there. All of these little six pans are all matte palettes. So they make good companion palettes. They're just kind of interesting and fun to work with. They're not as like necessary for your collection as I would, like, I, I don't think they're that necessary. I just got a good price for them and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So, however, this pink, super fun. I like, this palette is just super fun. I like the color story. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of wicked. The next palette is one I also used today in order to kind of blend out the Age of Opulence palette. This is the Pastels palette from Beauty Bay. This is great to work with. As a companion palette by itself, it's very uh, easy to work with. The colors really do show up. Um, it's hard to formulate pastels and I think they did a great job with it. I love this palette and it's 
good to travel with, good to have around. Okay, number five, we're getting up there. So number five for me is the Wilderness Palette. I don't have, I don't have much occasion to use this red rusty row down there, but you never say never, you know what I mean? And I can see myself reaching for it at some point. It's just gonna be a matter of what the occasion is. I will say I really love basically the rest of it, like the other three fourths of it. I think it's great. Um, this white shimmer shade is kind of a duochrome where it just picks up the tone of whatever is around it in a way that's really, really pretty. So definitely recommend this. I don't remember if it's still available. It was available for a while. I can't remember what season it was really stirring. Regardless, I, it's not part of their permanent collection, so it might have it might be discontinued. But yeah, good palette. Four. This is a recent addition to my collection, and this is the Fiery 2.0 palette. This is lit. I think I've sang this palette's praises before. I love this row. I love a lot of this palette. Even the oranges, I'm into it. Um, the first two rows up here, I'm not wild about, and I've discussed that before, but in in essence, the quality of this palette is awesome. I love the quality of this palette. It, it, it's, it's so cool. It's really fun to work with. I've made some crazy looks with it, and it's been nothing but a good time. So, number four. All right, number three is the Jade Thurwall collaboration palette with Beauty Bay. Um, a lot of people don't like this palette because it's kind of a jumble. It's kind of like all over. And I see that, but also think it's still very wearable and very usable. Like if you just took even these four shades, maybe even some something like that to pop in the corner or whatever, like Blamo, you've got, you've got a good look going on there. Um, I use this palette all the time. I haven't really had occasion to use any of these. Again, it's kind of a bit autumnal for me, but never say never. We'll see. I like the packaging. I think it's really pretty. Great palette. Good quality. Never unhappy with it. I will say I kind of wish that there were maybe a few more special shades in it just to make it really pop, but you know, it's fine. I'm not mad about it. Top three was Jade Thurwell, and then now we're into number two. So my number two palette is the 16 Pan Berries palette from Beauty Bay. And I've used this palette, it's very, like surprisingly versatile. Every time I've used this palette, however, it, it just delivers. It's very, very, it's just real pretty. <laughs> it really is pigmented. It, sets down nicely, the colors are easy to work with, it blends together really nicely, and the shimmers again are all really nice. Really, really nice. My early criticism of Beauty Bay was that their um, mattes were not that great, but their shimmers were always lit, and I think they've kind of dialed up the quality of the matte shades more as time goes on, so this is definitely evidence of that assessment to me. So I gotta be honest, I have not used this palette a whole lot, but I think for me, the Earthy palette is one of the best palettes that they've ever come out with. This, I honestly just threw down a look with it and it is so pigmented, so, 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 so. It's so pigmented, it's so rich to work with. These colors all go together really well. You can create a variety of looks with it. There's kind of more grungy, there's brighter, there's all kinds of things to blend out with. There's beautiful, beautiful shimmers. You can go a lot of different directions in just the 16 pan palette. I think the quality is incredible. And again, mattes, spot on. Shimmers, spot on. A couple of like different interesting shades, spot on. So what more can you want? And also again, the price for this quality is always insane to me. It's like you might spend 10 to 12 bucks on a palette. How do you beat it? How do you beat that? How are they coming out with things that are so good for so cheap, that are cruelty free? I ask you. Brands, take note. How do you do that? As I mentioned, Beauty Bay is having sale for White Friday, Black Friday, whatever kind of Friday you want. So if you're curious about trying the brand, now is a great time to do so. So 
head over, check that out. So, thank you for watching my super quick, super fun little Beauty Bay ranking video. video. Uh, please feel free to stop by again anytime. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, good stuff like that. And I will see you later. Bye!